Pontica. C'est Ponta Canet. Et maintenant, je vais vous montrer quelques vignes de Ponta Canet. Little hills, you see? Plateaus. It's very good because when it rains, the water do not stay. The stones is also very good for the maturation. And in fact, we have very poor soil. And we keep them poor. My idea at Ponte Canet is not to have big crop, but to work for good tannins. Good tannins is what leaves you pleasure in your mouth. That's the whole idea of it, of, of picking at the, at the right ripeness. All here are Cabernets. As you see, the soil is a lot of stones, and that's very, very good, the ideal for Cabernet Sauvignon. I jump in. Oh, oh. Excuse me. <laughs> so in this room, we are on the top of the fermenters. During harvest, you see those small uh, crates. They will arrive at this level. This basket, you have to imagine it with grapes, of course, is coming from the vine tree directly to this floor. And then the fruit will move here and people can assort. Only berries here, berries here and they are black. If there is something which is not, we take it out. So when it arrives here, it's perfect and then it falls into the fermenter. And I use no pump. It's all by gravity, so it's all natural. Part of the vineyards of Ponte Canet uh, in front of us here. We have 50 hectares in one shot. We use no herbicides or grass killer. Everything is done like it used to be. The only thing is we use tractor today instead of horses. But my dream one day or another is to have horses at Ponte Canet. We are in the old uh, fermenters. Uh, this was built about 130 years ago. All those fermenters here are made of oak. Those are really the ones I love because uh, oak is, uh, uh, speaks to me. I don't know. Uh, we get along well. Ponte Canet is sizable. We have 80 hectares which is quite a sizable property. But I like to do all the vinification exactly like if we were in, in, in a small vineyard. The idea is to have every parcel vinified separately. And then it allows us, when it's time to do the assemblage or the blending, you know, the mariage, to really choose what we like uh, for the Grand Vin. Because at Ponte Canet, I make two wines, Chateau Ponte Canet, is the number one label, the Grand Cru Classé in 1855, and then Les Hauts de Ponte Canet, which is the second wine, and it's really made of young vines. I love old vines because they make, they produce the best. And so Les Hauts de Ponte Canet today is made with vines who are between around 10 years of average age, while Chateau Ponte Canet is made with an average age of 45 years. I always like to decant, you know. Voilà. Voilà, that's for you. To me, on a great vintage, when grapes have been picked at the right time, Poyac will make powerful wine, but what is really nice, it's, it's very elegant. It's not made for wine tasting. It's made to sit around the table and have lunch or dinner with and share with friends and you find that when the wines are good, the conversation is always fun. My philosophy of wine is sharing. So cheers to you.